Hello, true crimers! That was a weird way of saying it. Let's play a round of Crime Time Roulette! Oh, crime roulette, the uh, jante oh, crime roulette, the uh, crime roulette, the uh, jante uh, bloom. I'm gay. Make sure you follow me on this page. It's my backup. Thanks. <laughs> Joe Pickler. So, this is the missing persons case of Joe Pickler. Fewer discretion. Hey, it's advised. Why not? Joe here was born in Bremerton, Washington on Valentine's Day, 1987. I had unfortunately never heard of him before, but he was an actor. So the family would relocate to Los Angeles in order for him to pursue that acting career. His first acting credit was in 1996. He was on an episode of a show called In the House. I've never heard of that. He also appeared in a couple of the Beethoven sequels. You know, the movie about the big ass dog. His final acting role was in 2002 in a movie called Children on Their Birthdays. Here he is as a youngin pictured with, remember him? Frankie Muniz. Malcolm in the middle, you know? Where is he these days? He actually lives in Arizona now, where I live. Anyway, this is about Joe. So in 2003, he actually would move back to Bremerton with the family. And this apparently was at the parents' insistence. Um, and he would actually finish high school there in 2005. By age 18, he was able to get his own place in Bremerton. And he actually intended to move back to Los Angeles a year later. I guess he had braces on during the time and he wanted to wait until those were off to move back to L.A. According to the Charlie Project, Joe was last heard from around 4.15 in the morning on January 5th, 2006. He had spoken to a friend uh, over the phone, and then he was never seen again. Four days later, on January 9th, his car was found. It was found near the intersection of Wheaton Way and Sheridan Road in Bremerton, and it was parked right where the Red X is. When his apartment was searched, all of his belongings were there except for his wallet and his keys. Those have never been recovered. His apartment was unlocked and all of the lights were still on, which they said is very different for Joe. He doesn't usually do that kind of thing. He would be officially reported missing on January 16th, 2006 by his family. I don't know why it took so long. So it's believed he was wearing this exact watch he also had a tattoo with this particular design. He was 19 years old at the time of his disappearance. At the time of his disappearance as well, he was six foot two, 170 pounds. Police do consider this to be an endangered person. However, they theorize that he actually ended his own life by jumping off a bridge. But scent dogs never picked up his scent. They found poetry at his apartment that indicated he may have been depressed, but he never indicated that to anyone. In fact, his friends say he was in really good spirits. His family believes he was met with foul play. He's been missing for 15 years.